There is a fear which creeps into my mind when the days are hot and heavy with humidity and the only creatures I see in my trees are cicadas and squirrels. The birds seem absent even in mornings and dusky evenings and I begin to fear that they will not be returning. Since I have finally become human and begun to take notice of birds, I am keenly aware of their truancy and it has antagonized my days of late. Where are they? Where is the splash of yellow the warblers bring? Where is the dark red of the red-headed woodpecker? Where is the morning song of the Carolina wren? There is, however, one comforting premonition that the birds will return. Two Mississippi kites circle the skies and seem not to worry. This quiets me. The tanagers and warblers, woodpeckers and wrens, finches and phoebes will make home here again. And it strikes me that books are much like birds. The same sort of fear flirts at the edges of my mind. The earthquakes and hurricanes of literature seem absent even in mornings and dusky evenings, and I begin to fear they will not be returning. I wait and hope for the tide within me to be pulled again by the strong magnetism of the moon, but it no longer shines like the white cliffs of Dover, but rather more like the underbelly of a dead fish. Even my best reads of late are dim and pale. In the light of Steinbeck, Rawlings, Hemingway, Buck, Cummings, Daphne, Harrison, and Bradbury, where is the splash of yellow the warblers bring? Where is the storm of story we deserve at this time and in this hour? Though I know that evening's empire has returned into sand, vanished from my hand, left me blindly here to stand, still not sleeping. My weariness amazes me, I'm branded on my feet. I have no one to meet, and the ancient empty streets too dead for dreaming. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there is no place I'm going to. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me, and in the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you.